out today. I'm from Feet Wells Tidy. We're out with Rib Ride, who very kindly laid on the boat for us to go to Avonmenai Point, which is quite an inaccessible um, place. Um, really to get to by foot so this is really the only viable option and it's to clean up um, the beach area there as Phil from Midride said it is really Abimenai it's the mouth that feeds his business really and we're out with Helen Morn in the other boat back there and uh, surface against sewage as well as keep Wells tidy to do a big clean up well we're here from Helen Morn Anglesey Sea Salt absolutely to show our support because we depend on clean seawater and the Gulf Stream is washing into this mouth this point and the sea on the whole is very clean except for what we as a race choose to put in it. And we're picking out every kind of plastic which is based on oil and I really want to draw attention to the fact that we need to move into a society where we depend less on oil and plastic and go for sustainability because the actual environment is fantastic here and it's only us that are messing it up with uh, these bits of plastic which have come from every possible source whether it's rope from fishermen or drinks from people throwing them overboard or child's shoes or all sorts of stuff is here that really doesn't need to be. It needs to be dealt with in a different way. And we actually depend, I mean, our business is about sea salt and the sea is our larder. And it, the sea here is incredibly clean. Um, and I just want to encourage people to keep it that way. And I was very happy that four of our staff volunteered to come on a day helping this initiative. So that's why we're here. Hi, my name is Sean. I live on Anglesey and I'm a regional rep for Surface Against Sewage and also I have my own business here where I guide people paddleboarding along the classic Menai Straits. Uh, today we've been very fortunate enough to be invited by Rib Rides and Keep Wales Tidy and Helen Morn and also Surface Against Sewage to do extreme beach clean where we've come to Abba Menai Point and we use this a lot for running expeditions, but sadly, a lot of marine litter is washed up on our beaches. And with this location, it's very hard to access. Um, um, so we have to do it by craft. So paddleboard, sea kayak, and luckily today, ribs. Um, and as you can see along this stretch, every, all these wonderful volunteers have come today and we're picking and we see no end of plastic so for us with surface against sewage we're asking the public to when they're on the beach walks walking their dogs or their families if they see this type of plastic which is actually cotton buds um we want you to collect this and record the data of what you're actually seeing so this has actually been flushed down the toilets and um, we're doing a massive campaign by thinking before you flush so we see no end of sanitary wear cotton buds wet wipes so really think before you flush also we've noticed in the last 15 years marine litter has actually doubled sadly probably about a hundred thousand um bird life actually die and marine life and it's absolutely shocking and it's down to us to do our bit to help protect preserve our beaches our coastline and our wildlife and marine life so it's wonderful today we've had such a great turnout and hopefully we can collect a lot of litter so here we are at Abad Menai, the mouth of the Menai Strait. Now, St. David said, let's do the little things. And uh, unfortunately today, it does feel like that, although we've had a team of 15 volunteers working for two hours, the pile of rubbish behind us still feels like a little thing. Um, it's, a, it's a sad example that in this pristine environment, the number of really small little bits of plastic that we're seeing, um, uh, they're everywhere and they're intertwined with the fabric of what makes Abad Menai. So we need to separate that out. We need to keep this environment pristine. We need to think about what's on the beaches, what's in the sea, and what we're doing as humanity. So please, if you can, don't throw that bottle top away. Keep hold of that extra little thing that you've got in your bag, and let's try and look after the Menai Strait and this fantastic environment we all work in.